I have been taking time to rest and if I am tired or really just not in the mindset to um, hustle or like, grind it out with work, I don't do it. Um, I just finished like four straight days at the store, which I'm not normally, I don't normally do. Normally it's two, um, but I did like four in a row covering the store while the owner was away. And so like, it's a lot of peopling. And so I did need like a couple days of rest of like minimal um, peopling. So yeah, I feel like I've been, been stopping a lot lately. Um, yeah, anyways. That's my card. I'm bored. It's after midnight. What time is it? Oh, it's 12.10. Um, and I've mostly not worked today. I did some computery things. That was it. So, um, and I needed to get these labels done for my friend for tomorrow. So, um, I thought, you know, midnight sounds like a really great time to do a very noisy activity. Hello, um, just a second. I have my noise canceling. I have my AirPods in and they're in noise canceling mode and I feel like I'm shouting slash underwater when I wear them. So, um, I have no idea where this is gonna fit into the vlog. It could be the very first clip for all I know. Um, but I am a hot mess express today. I haven't sewn in weeks. Like a couple of weeks, I cut out um, a piece and just left it for well over a week. Um, but I am finally feeling okay enough to sew. I wasn't like, I wouldn't say sick, but um, yesterday especially and the day before, I basically just slept all day, was not feeling my best. Like, didn't go to bed until super late one night. Um, but then I like slept the whole next day, like all day, and just have been tired, drained, I don't know, um, just not in it, you know? Anyway, so, uh, I need to... Well, I feel like, I guess, yeah, that is the right way to do that. Um, I feel like I've forgotten how to wind a dang bobbin. Um, I'm about to do some top stitching, but I want to do twin needle top stitching because I realized that my sewing machine says it can do twin needle. The thing is, is that I need two bobbins filled for that plus the spool of thread so one bobbin goes underneath okay and the other stays on top to be sewn with so that you have two threads coming from the top um through the twin needle right um and then the bobbin thread on the bottom kind of like zigzags between and like joins them together it's a really great technique for knits so that they're still stretchy um, and it gives a really nice like top stitching look on the outside. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do um, Where's my presser foot? There's so much stuff Stored under here. So oh, that is winding not anywhere Where it should 
Okay, so it might be hard to see, and I hope I can get this to focus. Right here, if you can see, there's two needles instead of one. They're attached up here, and I'm going to feed one thread through one side, sort of like when you have two needles on a serger. And then I'm going to run the other thread and put it through here, but it has to still be fed through the rest of the machine. So, um, I'm going to do that. Okay, so I cut this scrap in the wrong direction, so it's very dimply because I cut it the stretchy way, and I'm going to be sewing on my seams this way where it's not stretchy, so it's bumpy, and it was very hard to control. But if you look at the beginning here, it looks pretty dang good, right? Like, over here it got a little off and quite bad. Um... But yeah, I like the beginning, so I guess we'll get started, but now my battery is flashing, so. Hello! Hi. Um. Okay, so it's a new week. Have no idea where I'm at in the vlogs. I have a lot of footage that I haven't edited yet. Um, and I've decided, you know what? I'm just gonna edit it together and like pump out vlogs. Um. Because I keep vlogging and then I keep not releasing it. So, hello, hi, how are you? Um, this week, or today, right now, uh, it is Monday, uh, almost 5pm. I've been doing laundry all day. Um, and I want to cut out a top. Um, I've got the pattern done already, I've got the t-shirt. Um, I <laughs> I don't even want to show you guys this because it is truly horrific like how bad this turned out but I'm gonna build a little like nope not with that I'm gonna build a little uh, pile of things that I can set my tripod on to make it a little taller so I can uh, free-handed show you nope that is too tall uh, that's also too tall I think Okay, I was just showing my mom this, um, who doesn't know how to, like, she's sewn before, but doesn't really know how to sew, and is definitely not a fashionista, but she definitely could see what I was talking about when I was telling her all the issues I had. Okay, 
So this is the um, princess top, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but this thing is actually um, huge. Like, it's supposed to fit me because I used the size block based on my measurements that I fit into. Um, the neck is too wide. The armholes are way too big, like way, way too big. So they're too long to start off with and the top is too wide. So like I can fit my whole arm in next to me when I put this on. And so I need, it needs to come in, it needs to be shorter at the shoulders. Um, the princess lines here, which you can't really tell because it's all the same fabric, the lines right here are in the right place. So the very center panel, totally fine. Um, but I do think I want the back to be a bit higher because it's the same length or same depth on the back. Um, and yeah, I don't really like that. So um, that's a thing that I might want to do. Um, it's all like finished on the inside. I've even like top stitched it. So like it's a finished garment, but it's not a good finished garment. Um, and I would put this on for you, but I'm quite mad at how bad it is. So I'm not going to because it just makes me sad. Um, and I really just don't have the mental capacity to fix this pattern right now. I was telling my friend on the weekend, um, I just need a win. I need, I need to get something that is working. And this is part of the problem of like, oh, I can say, oh, I want to launch something by like this date or whatever. But the problem is, is I can't because if the pattern doesn't work out the way I've planned it in my head, then I need to start over. And I've, it's been so long since I've drafted clothes that I'm very much out of practice of like looking at something and going, yeah, that's going to fit. Partway through sewing this, I went, yeah, this something looks kind of wrong with this. But I continued because I couldn't try it on until it was pretty much done. So, yeah, I just, it's like, this is supposed to be a 6X and it really is like a 7 or 8X. Like, it's way, way too big. Um, it's just generally like too wide. It's supposed to be quite fitted. I might have messed up somewhere in the sewing, like not sewing the seam allowances small enough. Um, I don't know. But I need to return to the drawing board on that one because uh, it is bad. It's just bad. So yeah, um, I'm going to cut the t-shirt out today that I have ready, like the pattern is ready. And cross our fingers that when I sew it this week, it actually turns out. Because I I just need to feel like I did something right. You know, I just need to feel like I did something right. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Hello, hi. It is Thursday. I haven't talked to you in a while. Um, I just wanted to be known. I showered. Hence the hair all over the place. It's still damp. Um, I showered this morning at like 11 and my hair is still like wet in places. Uh, I just have a lot of it at the moment. So, um, 
yeah anyways uh what am i doing today not much considering the big activity for the day was to shower i smelled very bad um currently printing off some thank you cards that i'm gonna cut up my cricket to go in orders I think I forgot to tell it to turn off the bleed, but whatever. Um, yeah, so doing that, tried to print on this piece of card, which is way thicker than what I just showed you, and it gets stuck every single time. I try, I try, hi buddy. Um, I try to make it work because I bought the card, I like the card, but it will not go through my printer, so Unless I'm cutting out something that doesn't need card, um, which I don't really have any packaging items that don't need card, um, yeah, I have no need for um, the this big of a stack of card that I have. Actually, I think, oh, this stuff is thinner, I think. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Um, so I have this much of that card, um, that I can't use and have absolutely no need for. So I'm not really sure what I will do with it. All right, of course, timed that perfectly. The printer is done. Um, let's, I'm going to try using these, um, not so sticky mats oh wait maybe these are brand new ones oh yeah these are the brand new ones where are the not sticky ones uh oh okay well i won't be using those then i'd saved um some strong grip mats that uh were used for leather for cutting leather but i don't know where they went so we'll just have to use the light grip ones. Um, I think I printed in total seven sheets with four on it. So this won't take long. But I just want to get them done. And... Yes. Okay. I would have preferred printing these on white, um, but I had pink, and it's not far off of my branding colors, like the pink. So, I will use it, because I'm not going to buy new if I don't have to. Hello, hi, howdy, how are you? Um, it's been several weeks since I've picked up my camera, like these two, if not three. Oh, I didn't realize my hair looked like that. Um, yeah, I don't even really have an excuse. Um, other than, I don't know, just didn't feel like it. Have had a really, like, down, slow time. Um, haven't really had a lot to say. And also just have not been doing a lot um yeah right now i am doing some last minute work that i need to have ready for tomorrow um and there's a lot of printing and a lot of using my cricut um so yeah doing that and um you probably can't really tell, but if you see up around the edge of my room, a bunch of the trim has been ripped off. Well, this summer, um, not like because I want it, but because the house needs it, and um, this isn't like an official bedroom or anything, um, it's our basement rec room, and like there's a door between this room and my sister's that is locked and all that um we are um well my mom has decided that we're going to rip down all the walls and the awesome ceiling uh so eventually uh probably by 
the end of the year, well, by the end of the summer, I guess, um, the ceiling will be gone. Um, it's, I think they're going to start ripping it down, like, in the next week or so. I don't have anything to do with the demolition. I just sort of, like, <sighs> try not to lose my mind of, like, having my life uprooted. Um, mostly because they're doing the work on days I'm not here. I'm working at the store. Um, anyway, so... The ceiling's coming down, the walls are coming off, um, the outside walls are getting insulation put in, like, proper insulation, um, and because, like, it's very cold down here, um, and it's made even more cold because I think when we got this window put in, um, when we moved here, like, uh, 12 years ago, more than 12 years ago, I think, um, they didn't do it right and so it needs to be like re-insulated around it it's the coldest part of my room and it's the side I work on so it just like radiates cold in the winter hence why we're not doing this in the winter um so like literally every inch of drywall has to come off of my walls all of my stuff will need to be packed up and moved out of my room the lights are coming down um all my stuff is gonna have to come off the walls like i am not a minimalist okay like i have a lot of stuff i have essentially an entire apartment's worth of furniture in here i mean besides like a dining room table and stuff but like i didn't have one of those in the first place um my cutting table was my dining room table um and yeah so like it's gonna be a lot of upheaval upheaval for a few months and i didn't know this was happening i'm not complaining about it because i will be toasty warm um it's just gonna be a lot and a lot of interruptions to my routines and my life and being able to make things um so yeah it shall be interesting um figuring things out so um I think my mom was talking about like even this weekend starting to move stuff out of my room so they can start ripping the ceiling down so yeah that's a thing that is happening and I'm like it'll be great uh, it's just gonna be a lot of destruction and stuff I don't know so yeah um, not looking forward to it, but it's absolutely necessary, so, um, have no idea when or if anybody will even see this, um, I am looking forward to the ceiling coming down and new insulation going in there, and I think the plan is, I think we've talked my mom into closing up this door in between my room and my sister's room, because my sister is getting a window put in, um, her room. So, um, we won't need the door there for safety, you know? Um, so yeah. Anyways, that's what's going on. I am printing things right now that I have to cut on my Cricut. Um, and not much else is going on. 